All right, gang, geezer here. I got news. Good news or bad news? It's, I don't know what it is, but it's news. It's cold and it's wet. It snowed earlier. Gonna be a miserable day. On top of that, at 3.15, I got a doctor's appointment. So that's gonna kill me. But the really news is the mule is running. Huh? There it is, it's running. Started right up. He says, what'd you do to fix it? Well, I put another battery in it. It seems my new battery was no good. Go figure. Huh? You order, you get a new battery, expect it to be good. But I put this one in this morning and it started right up. Lights worked. I got all excited when I put it in, the lights came on. Turned the key and it took right off. So now I got a half a day of putting all the body parts back on. Get them two pieces over there, got to go all up in here. In the dump bed, dump bed would be the easiest, I think, because it only takes two pins to go through right there. So, but there, there it's running. My new battery was bad. So, what do you know about that? Guess I could turn that off, huh? There we go. Better? Keys are here. At any rate, I went into town at Tractor Supply and got this battery yesterday. Put it on, put it on charge. It's an AGM battery, <clears throat> which I think might be better in the long run than lead acid in there because all the bounce around and spilling and stuff. This way, nothing comes out. <clears throat> but it came with its own filler tubes. Had plastic tubes that were molded together and you just stuck them in the hole on top and the acid dripped down in there and let it sit for 20 minutes and then uh, had like 12 and a half volts straight away and I put on the charger for a few hours and it's charged right up all the way up to 100% so brought it out this morning put it in there and it took right off and I just looked I still got a week left on my one the other one that I took out of there is no good I'm gonna send it back got it from Amazon is an AGM battery too. So I'm boxing it up and I got some deliveries coming this week. I'll just give it to the UPS driver to take it back and send it back. So I don't know what the original problem was. But I know originally I had a dead battery. That's, that's why I got that other new and put in, but then nothing worked. So I thought I had another problem. I changed them relays, changed all the fuses, changed the starter. Still nothing worked. And, uh, was it my neighbor or somebody suggested it might be a bad battery? And I didn't believe it because I just put a brand new one in there. You know, it's supposed to be good. Stupid Chinese Joe's buddies over in China. At any rate, I went to the tractor supply yesterday. Well, they, had, they only had one in the store 20 miles away. And I said, by the time I get there, somebody will buy it up. So I ordered it online from the store and locked it up. Went into town and got it, charged it up, and put it in this morning, took right off. Who knows? <clears throat> I got no clue. So, <coughs> starting tomorrow, I have to reassemble all this now. Get all the logging stuff, tree cutting stuff loaded back up in it. And I got some work to do out here. And it's gonna be cold today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, so I'll work on this in here. Thursday's supposed to be near 60, so I want to go out Thursday. I will plan on going down there and cutting that tree that's blocking the lane going to the back. I got to get that done first because I can't do nothing else until I get that done now. So and then we got, I got enough blowdowns now to last all year. So at any rate, the, pro and it, the original problem on that, I think, was the bad battery. And I think the other stuff that I changed probably wasn't bad. The starter may have been iffy. Because every once in a while we'd have problems, you'd hit the key and nothing would happen. Hit the key, nothing would happen. Hit it about six times, and then all of a sudden it would take off. Starter would take off, and the engine would start and go on. I just never paid no attention. So now that I got a new starter on there, we'll see if that goes if that went away. But until I find out for sure, I'm going to hang on to the old starter, so I'll have a spare. Same with them relays. I'll save them. I'll have spares. So build my stash. So at any rate. 
new battery, you'll start it right up. Happy, happy, happy. All right, until the next time, this is the geezer saying, see ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs>